It's 104.5 Vibes Radio. That sounds all right, Lee. <laughs> and according to Shaggy and Asema Mix, Unaitembeza Vile Nafa. Loving the show. Thank you so much to everybody that's tuned in. Big up to Manadrilla. <laughs> Asema Elgore to Kolokt Hadi Tamati. It's uh, 16 minutes past 8 a.m., which means we're about to get into an awesome conversation from Jadala to Public Opinion. And one of the biggest debates or conversations that was making headlines last week, Kilikwa Iyala. Now, Patrick, one of Patrick Jana, I mean, on Friday, Al Tuliza, Iyala i inakwanga nini? Nakazi nigani? And so today we are very privileged to be joined by a member of the East Africa Legislative Assembly, Anaitwa Bona Kennedy Kalonzo. So we're going to start that conversation. Na yemu nyo atatuelezea, Iyala ni nini? Kazi yake ni gani? Na Kenya inafaidika aje. 16 minutes past 8 a.m. You're on Morning Vibes. This is the Morning Vibes on Vibes Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Mjadala. And uh, like we promised, to kuna mgeni kwa studio. Uh, last week, uh, ali konfamiwa kwamba yeye ni uh, member wa East Africa Legislative Assembly. And um, we, of course, uh, invited him. Uh, and uh, ali kubali uh, inv- invitation here. Thank you so much, by the way, for accepting our invitation to come through and speak to MVPs. Yeah, no, it's a pleasure to be here. Mm-hmm. Um, especially after such a... Uh, tough election last week. Yeah. But tunashukuru Mungu tulifaulu. Mm-hmm. So tunasubiri kazi ianze um, this second term. Mm-hmm. Lakini bado naendelea na kazi yangu. Swali yenye wa Kenya wanajiuliza ni hii East Africa Legislative Assembly ni ni nini? Ni nini? Um, East Africa Legislative Assembly ni ni bunge la mm-hmm. jumuiya la Afrika Mashariki. Mm-hmm. Maanisha ni kama mfano um, bunge yetu hapa ya Kenya tofauti tu ni katika hii bunge ya ya Afrika Mashariki kuna bunge kutoka nchi zote mm-hmm. uh, alafu pia tunatarajia ile nchi ambayo wamejoin hivi karibuni uh, DRC pia nao watatuma mm-hmm. wajumbe wao mm-hmm. yeah. na um, you know we know about the East African community but is this in the bunge bunge ya East Africa ma kazi haswa you know what's the mandate plan ya East Africa Legislative Assembly ex- exactly ni gani uh, well, ni kama well, okay, kama bunge tu lakini uh, for example tunakuanga na kazi ya office, oversight uh-huh. yani Kenya kilipa taxes ama inchi yote inalipa uh, contribution yao kwenye jumuiya uh-huh. uh, ni muhimu bunge ijue hizi pesa zimetumika vizuri eh? tu, ni sawa na sheria zetu uh-huh. so hiyo ni kazi moja of course pia tunaunga sheria um, yon kazi ngine ya, ya pili na hata kama kuna petitions ikiletwa kwetu mm-hmm. tunahando pia how um, um, looking at for example that we're talking about for um, eventually being a political confederation mm-hmm. as in it does is there an eventuality where the borders will be borderless uh, well I, I think in the first place our borders are, are that's what I'm looking for mm-hmm they were really calculated to make sure we don't we don't agree because mm-hmm. all the communities are cross border they're in the one partner state mm-hmm. if, for example the Maasai mm-hmm. um, the Taita and it's across all our partner states mm-hmm. so really we don't necessarily need these borders mm-hmm. yeah. but the borders are there they are there uh, mtu waki decide kuleta tuseme maziwa mm-hmm. kutoka Uganda uh-huh. alete aanze kuza hapa Kenya mm-hmm. Uh, which we saw happening. Yeah. Uh, alafu ina, na ni maziwa quality. Mm-hmm. Imekuja kuuzwa hapa Kenya. E, na kuna mkenya, akwa hapa pia anauza maziwa. Mm-hmm. Iyo, how will anaprotectiwa aje? Anaprotectiwa na iyala ama anaprotectiwa na country yaki? Uh, Iyo nisa lingumu kwa sababu mm-hmm. naza pata mfano yu mfano umenipatia. Mm-hmm. Naza pata ni mkenya ameenda Uganda. Mm-hmm. Akajua aka pali ametoka kuna opportunity. Mm-hmm. So ni mkenya kwa Uganda ana ana leta maziwa kutoka huko. Mm-hmm. Sasa ukisema awe awe protected they are both Kenyans mm-hmm. unaanzia wapi? Unaona hiyo cha, changamoto ya hizi borders uh, borders mm-hmm. mfano. Mm-hmm. Afu pia tunafaa tujiulize maswali magumu sana mwingine. Mm-hmm. Mfano tunataka ku protect market. Ni market gani tuna protect? Mm-hmm. Ha? Tukisema mfano ukiangalia vile tume tumefanyia industry yetu ya sugar. Mm-hmm. 
atuna factories za sky kwa hivyo wale ambao wako Uganda si market yetu ni sisi hapa mm -hmm. eh? so hizo ndio maswali za nyingine tunafaa tujiulize ndio tupate mwelekeo mwema si tu ku, kuwa tuna tuseme protectionism mm -hmm. na tujafikirie hiyo swala vizuri Mhm. Mm Lakini Mkenya for example kasa hii tunaongea juu ya vitu kama mahindi. Uh -huh. e, uh, kuna kuna shortage. Tuki decide twende tuchukue mahindi kutoka country nyingine uh -huh. kuna wale ambao wa Kenya watasema hii inafanya bei ya ma, mahindi yenye mimi nitapanda ishuke. Uh -huh. Hii East Africa Legislative Assembly inaongea juu ya mambo kama haya? Kweli tunaongea kuhusu mambo kama hayo. In fact uh, tumepitisha bill tatu ambazo zitakuwa mwanzo wa kuelekea kuwa na currency moja mm -hmm. ndio iwe kusaidia katika swala hiyo mm -hmm. mfano kwa sababu shida nyingine ni kila mtu ana currency yao uh, nchi zingine ziko very good in certain areas mm -hmm. like uh, Kenya I don't think we are good in farming per se mm -hmm. but Tanzania are very good we can't compete with them mm -hmm. so we really need to look at some of our policies we are the most taxed Um, so in fact the challenge you have in the mm -hmm. Kenyan companies are going to these other countries um, because as long as the product is considered to have come locally mm -hmm. it's treated with preferential treatment as far as our taxes go. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, uh, 22 minutes past 8 a.m. we're going to take a short break. I'll have to Lisa, um, kukua mbunge wa East Africa Legislative Assembly process ni gani? We're coming back. <laughs> Your all day, every day, vibe station. Africa's number one reggae radio station. This is Vibes Radio from Nairobi to the world. And Snoop Lion coming through with Cali Green. 26 minutes past 8 a.m. You're hanging out with your captain of good vibes. They call me Kwan Box. Sounds of Riley. And at Kuna Mgeni Kwa Studio. And uh, Naitwa Kennedy Kalonzo Mbunge wa East Africa Legislative Assembly Na leo tunataka kuji, kujijulisha Kama kuna swali tumia yu hashtag Morning, Morning vibes. vibes Na pia Facebook tuko hapo hapo Tuna stream live So before we took the break um, We wanted to know what in, pros, in process ya kuwa mbunge kwa East Africa Legislative Assembly in Nangaji Kwa sabu tuliona um, Pia local parties hapa Being involved in it So tuambie Uh, so number one, I always tell young people mm -hmm. ni muhimu wajunge na political parties mm -hmm. njoo wao e part of the process mm -hmm. political parties ni kama any, any corporate wakianza kutafuta someone to fill particular roads mm -hmm. wananza internally mm -hmm. uh, so it's important to be involved uh, process ina kuanga uh, I'd say simple and complicated mm -hmm. uh, the first is elections ifanyike mm -hmm. za, za bunge mm -hmm. Zikisha fanyika tunajua how many parties, parliamentary parties or coalitions mm -hmm. qualify. Alafu from that we tunajua how many M M slots for wajumbe mm -hmm. do they each have. So like in this case Kenya Kwanza had five, mm -hmm. Azmio had four. Alafu tukisha fika hapo tunenda kwenye bunge kupigiwa kura na wabunge. Mm -hmm. Mbawa mechaguliwa na wanainji. Mm -hmm. So we are in the process in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. na, na out of uh, kila mtu mwenye alikuwa kwa party mbona wewe Sinifanya kazi nzuri ama kwa sababu uh, ukiangalia uh, any, in fact if you just google East Africa Legislative Assembly one of the big comments one on, on especially kwa side ya uh, Ozimio ilikuwa dynasty mm -hmm. um, last week hata tulisikia president akisema it would be almost um, Um, it's a, it's ni ka wrong move ku, mm. ku, ku kuweka watoto wa mwe, wenye party kwenye hiyo kwa sababu Winnie Odinga na pia wewe um, so ni, ni kazi gani ambayo ulifanya ukakuwa the first front runner uh, well so firstly nilichaguliwa kuwa chair of the accounts committee mm -hmm. one of the youngest chairs mm -hmm. so yo, that's so that was a vote on confidence yeah. sababu kumbuke at that level since chaguliwe sasa na wakenya wachaguliwa na kila mjumbe mm. from the different countries so for them to have your confidence confidence mm. means must be i must have been doing something right yeah um now so a dynasty is is really vizuri so abu tukijuliza dynasty ni nini um it's it's a uh, yani si si really vizuri so I'll, i'll tell you why mm -hmm. mtu akizaliwa the one thing we all have in common mm. we have the same 
amount of hours per day. Mm-hmm. Na kuna verse fulani nusoma kwa bila nasema a wise man prepares for his children's children. Mm. So sit, is it a bad thing to tell Kenyans work hard mm-hmm. and build for your children's children. Yo njo wish yangu na yo sola la dynasty. Mhm. And in case I don't view myself as a dynasty. Yeah. Yeah. Lakini lakini your, your father is the head of the party. Wiper uh, party. Yeah. But mkumbuke mm-hmm. jina na zoleta na tumeona kwenye nchi where uh one chama ni za kata because mm. remember parties are democratic mm. always it will happen hakuna kitu cha bure unaweza leta jina la loser eh na huyu ametfanyia nini hatumuonangi mm-hmm. hatuko mm-hmm. naye kwenye campaign trails pia ukiangalia kwa sababu ukiangalia tena au wengine wenye walichaguliwa wengi wao ni ambao walikuwa kwa hii election uh-huh. um, kwa mambo mawili matatu hapa labda hawakuweza ku, kupenya lakini waliweza kupenya kwa East Africa Legislative Assembly um, kwa sababu ya kupigiwa kura. So unaweza angalia useme labda inaweza kuwa maybe gifts ama ile kwa sababu kwa mtu kama uh, Shabal, Shabal alikuwa na run in Mombasa. Um, he stepped he stepped down. And a lot of people didn't quite understand why uh, if alikuwa na hiyo love ya, wa, ya, ya the voters walikuwa nataka uh, run. Mm-hmm. But he said and he said and he said you know sometimes you just have to take a step, uh, step back lakini ukimwona kwa East Africa Legislative Assembly kwa mtu ambayo labda hauwezi unaangalia unasema okay maybe this was why he stepped down mm-hmm. yeah well I, i can't speak for him mm-hmm. I, i don't know hizo ni details na niambia for the first time yeah um uh, ngemuliza but uh, speaking about him i think as an individual mm-hmm. um, capacity wise I think he he do he do well. Mm-hmm. He would do well there. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go back to the East Africa Legislative Assembly. Kwa Mkenya, kwa nini ajali juu ya Iala? Kwa sababu tunasikia kwamba um, when it comes to East Africa community apparently Kenya hatuichukulini kama ni kitu serious. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think round day tumeanza and I'm happy <coughs> because of the election yote na hivi tayote na shindangwa nikipigwa at least watu wamekuta wame kujua the something called um Yala. Mm-hmm. I think this time to make clear seriously mm-hmm. if you look at the people they have sent they are all uh, experienced in in different things. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah, so I think now we're taking it seriously. Yeah. Maybe it's just the right time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why should the average young person care or pay attention? Because yes, the people who been chosen a lot of youthful people. Mm-hmm. Um um some a very good friend of ours up a Naitwa Maina who um is also uh, mm-hmm. is actually a friend of morning vibes mbona tu mbona tu tujali why should we pay attention um number one, we need more young people in that assembly mm-hmm. and i'll tell you why mm-hmm. when i went there the young people were outnumbered mm-hmm. so now when it comes to creating new institutions we would always fight with the older mps We're like we want five years experience so mm-hmm. i not attack 15 but because they are the majority you in a pita too mm-hmm. so without young people in that bunge we will be losing out on such opportunities mm-hmm. yeah w- program yenu inakangaje kwa sababu hapa bunge tunajua labda kuna kuna kitu inadiscussiwa juu ya eh, GMO for example mm-hmm. inapelekwa huko wana debate tunajua ya iala kwa sababu sasa msha msha um, um, weko huko ndani what's the first agenda the ni kama bunge yote so first agenda ni mm-hmm. bunge ianze mm-hmm. ni kuchagua speaker Um, so hiyo ndio jambo la kwanza tutafanya around December 18th. Mhm. Uh mimi bado na naendelea na kazi yangu na report pia nitakuwa niki niki submit on December. Mm-hmm. Um ya mwisho as you know chair of the accounts committee. Yeah. Um yeah so hizo ndio the agenda ziko as of now. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. Achievements za yala ni gani? Kwa sababu tangu ianze yeah. tunaweza sema yala imefanya nini? Ah yo sin list ndefu for junior and jewa to to be to be uh achievements mm-hmm. tumeweza kufanya oversight tumeweza kuwa na um good audited reports mm-hmm. tulikuwa na changamoto hapo mbeleni mm-hmm. um tumepitisha bills kadha mm-hmm. um actually last uh, plenary to petition the f- third of three mm-hmm. ambazo zita do be the beginning point to have a one common currency mm. yeah so there are those institutions that needed to be formed to allow for that mm-hmm. yeah. one common currency yes. how plausible is that 
It's uh, very plausible, mm-hmm. as we are realizing now. We're doing a lot of uh, into Africa trade. Mm-hmm. So for ease of business, why should I be keep counting? I have Kenya shillings, they convert to Tanzanian shillings, they convert to Ugandan shillings, mm-hmm. to you know Rwandan francs. To go a currency merger just makes business easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Na ukiangalia m- m- Kenya, kusabu na juu sisi tukiangalia opportunities za East Africa, tunona it's a, it's a big population of young people mm-hmm. and they're they're looking for opportunities i can tell you that every young person is looking at opportunities and we hear people saying stuff like ah, don't just look within the borders mm-hmm. yeah. how does east africa legislative assembly help for example a kenyan who wants to um, um move from like say move their business or move their products from one place to the other if then an msme for example um, well, so we try and pass laws and and look at uh, non-tariff barriers. Mm-hmm. Those are some of the issues that affect our, our business people. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, I think it's important in, in that regard. And even when we have, uh, when there are issues of business, we can always be petitioned and then we, we look at that. Because mm-hmm. um, really they see it's one, one big market. You know, why, why should you compete for maybe... 54 million mm-hmm. where maybe in that 54 million whatever product you have mm-hmm. maybe only 10 percent can achieve that yeah. so that's what that's about 5 million mm-hmm. as opposed to if you had you know 10 percent of 100 million mm. uh, yeah. All right. We're talking about the East Africa Legislative Assembly. Come on, Swali. Kumbuka hashtag Nio Morning Vibes. Morning Vibes. To know, before last week, we were going to do East Africa Legislative Assembly. We were going to do East Africa Legislative Assembly. We were going to do East Africa Legislative Assembly. 24 minutes to 9 a.m. Naz and Damon Marley coming through with patience. <laughs> Patience is playing right here on Morning Vibes. 18 minutes to 9 a.m. Pali uko tu yani tunasema. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I hope uh, Monday imeanza with some energy. Mm-hmm. And some good vibes when you see the sun is out, Maze. Wacha ni kuambia Saturday kulinyesha. Wacha ni kuambia niliona River Kenya Avenue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Niliwa natoka hapo Kilimani nimeshuka hivi Valley Road. Mpaka yeah. naambia Dere a. Ah, Wacha kuweka gear bana. Zima hiyo gari tuende na hivi ve hivi tu. Swiu. Wadai ulikuwa takwa Moses. It was so nani. crazy man. Kwanza yeah. Kilimani mimi I'm just telling you your days are numbered. With the amount of apartments that are showing up, hiyo uh-huh. drainage I was I was Nambua season doing in a, in a, in a yeah. My friend, you're going to swim home. I'm telling you. <laughs> just just be prepared. That's <laughs> just what it is. Don't know Me, kuna juzi mtu wame niambia. Ati, <laughs> Governor Sakaja nafakuwa. But like, ah, fikiria juu ya Nairobi Festival. Yeah. Anafaku fikiria juu ya Nairobi sewage. Uh, sewage. Uh-huh. Iyo story plan anyway. Because the drainage in Nairobi is wanting. At the moment. Kwanza hapo kilimani, Miss Jui. I don't know about other parts. But what I saw on Saturday. In fact, if you want to know. Look at Sunday morning. The road was actually destroyed by the water. Mm. Angalia po um, writer wizo side za kuteremka kuanzia Kenya pali Valley Road in Aishia, mm-hmm. head all the way to the roundabout apo uh, Huru Highway. Look at the road being destroyed by water. Mm. Ma 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 uh, and it Kennedy Kalonzo. So, when do you officially start your duty? Uh, well, so for me, because um, uh, my term hasn't my term hasn't ended, mm-hmm. so I'm still on duty. Mm-hmm. But maybe for the new term to be December 18th, mm-hmm. thereabouts, just before Christmas. Mm-hmm. Now, when you meet with other East Africa uh, Legislative Assembly members, um, what who? When you go there, do you represent Kenya or you're an East African? <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I'm asking. Yeah, I'm just wondering how much trouble get into for once in that. <laughs> no, which is I'm, important. I'm, I'm Kenyan mm-hmm. representative to the East African community. Mm. Yeah. And and is the mandate to be more East, unified as East Africa or is the mandate everybody coming to defend their country and support their country's vision? Well, there is the there is the what do we call it the the vision and the reality. Mm-hmm. The vision is we're all there to support integration. Mm-hmm. 
of course sometimes there are challenges where country may not agree with a particular issue for example uh, like when uh, we had issues with Tanzania mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. uh, so we asked our ministry you know why don't we talk about can we make noise and talk about this issue they told us uh, no please keep quiet because if you do that we get all our all our vegetables from Arusha there mm. will be no vegetables in Nairobi mm. um, so the issues like those where you're advised by your country to do or you know look after their interests what is more important for East Africa political confederation or economic um, becoming uh, you know freedom of uh, movement of goods in my opinion I would say the the the, the economy mm -hmm. uh, because I think we still have a lot of issues to solve before we get to the, the confederation or federation mm -hmm. but once you know actually our treaty says this time around we want to be uh, people centered mm -hmm. but market driven mm -hmm. so the heads of state will listen more to the to the march and the economics and the market side of things a lot quicker than issues of federation tukimalizia kama kuna mtu yote bado akona tashwish juu ya nomination yako and and election yako unamwambiaje acha ya jaribu atajua vile zile mtu nyingi nothing easy yeah. yeah okay um tukimalizia you are a youthful um you know member of parliament um what do you do to to stay focused um wow i think just to try and, for me i try my mantra is to try and change as many lives as i can mm -hmm. wherever i go mm -hmm. so i think that helps me keep keep focus mm -hmm. and i read a lot of books i study um so before i applied for this job i really took time and studied quite a number of of great leaders yeah mm -hmm. so that reading always keeps me focused. Mhm. Uh -huh. yeah. Kuna kitu alisema wakenya hatukwangi good at farming. Uh -huh. Sasa tuko katika <laughs> tuko, tuko katika uh, uh, we we're in the midst of just about uh, our CS has just told us that um, you know we have drought and so there's so many things that could kill us. We're just about to add GMO to the mix. Um, what can Kenyans do to improve our our agriculture? Mm -hmm. I think from what I've seen it's really policy mm -hmm. um, so for example when I was in U Uganda I saw how the the sugar farmers are, are treated mm -hmm. if you're a sugar farmer today mm -hmm. um, you go to the factory say I want to plant sugar cane they'll give you the seeds you have at that point not spent any money mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you only maybe it's the land for example so you go to the factory they'll give you the seeds they'll help you um, germinate them mm. get the quality control right and give your contract to buy them even before they've started they have started growing mm. right mm. so you as a farmer are well looked after and then once they harvest they deduct their cost for whatever it is and pay you mm -hmm. but you're farming already with a contract at hand I think that was an amazing policy for me. I feel like we we don't have that. That's what you need contract for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thank you so much for coming through and um I'm going to play you one nice uh, reggae song. You'll right. tell me which one it is. Mm -hmm. Who do you want to listen to? That's a hard hard question. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, my huge fan of of uh, uh the protege and Twan, Shot by Love. Wow. Nice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Remember you on Morning Vibes. Leo, uh, Sons of Riley, amesema, Ridi Moors ni ile juu ya mapenzi. Tunakam through. Here is Protégé featuring Toy. Shot by Love. Rebels and Reggae Heads, start your day the MVP way. Where you are the MVP. No negative vibes. <laughs>